California doesn't have to choose between retaining and growing jobs in the film and television industry and increasing the diversity of its workforce. It can do both. I'm a Hollywood kid. I grew up on film and television sets that both of my parents worked on. I graduated from Hollywood High, go Sheiks. I even got a chance to dance on Soul Train. But seriously, I know firsthand the importance of the film and television industry to Los Angeles and our state's economy, which is why after having worked this year on developing a new film tax credit that will keep Californians working in this Golden State industry, I was highly offended to see the industry response to a $1.6 billion dollar tax subsidy by quietly eliminating black women from executive positions with a number, number of studios. Many of these women were involved in their studio's diversity, equity, and inclusion efforts, which raises serious questions about their true commitment to diversity, equity, and inclusion in the film industry. We want progress toward real inclusion and equity in this industry. And we want to make sure that our tax dollars are not in any way involved in this erasure. We hope that these conversations will lead to a commitment and a level of trust that will allow us to continue to move forward in expanding our investment in this important industry. But we cannot do that if we are not certain that we are moving forward with the same goals and minds, and that is a film industry in which underrepresented populations have voice and leadership in building this industry for the future. And in this spirit, in the era that we're in right now, fighting for inclusion, fighting for affirmative action, what the Supreme Court has just done to affirmative action in this country. And then to come on the heels, on the heels of what these studios have done. It is a slap in the face of not only women, it's a slap in the face for people of color in California, and I would say in the United States of America. And today there are some demands that has been um, advocated and communicated. One, a, a conversation with the governor. Two. Uh, a conversation with the executives of these studios to sit down with members of the Tri Caucus as well as the Legislative Black Caucus and for them to answer the question, why is this coincidence taking place right now? The film industry must do better and take demonstrable steps to ensure that these studios, which will benefit from the tax credit, also prioritize the hiring of individuals behind the camera that look like California.